Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, world? This is a special edition video that I just want to talk about the realities and the pains of life and the things that are going on now. The protest, the riots, things that are going on in our country. God has already predicted that all these things would happen. He said that nation would be against nation, ethnic group against ethnic group, that this earth will see things that it's never saw before. The things that are going on. Teachers having sex with students. Mothers and fathers killing their child. And kids killing their parents. All this was predicted in the Bible. And whether you believe the Bible or not. That's totally on you. I do believe in it. And the reason why I know it's real became because it became real for me almost about 10 years ago. And I recognized that I needed to change from the way I was living, from the way I was doing things and carrying on each and every day. Different activities and things that were going on in my own individual life. And I thank God for his grace and his mercy for coming in and touching my life and saving me. Just as you see that tree blowing, even though you can't see the air, you know that that tree is blowing and the wind is affecting that tree. So you know that it's real. The same thing with God. He created you and he created me. Whether you believe that or not, that's totally on you. I didn't come on here to gain subscribers. I didn't come on here to want people to big me up or up me up because it's not about that. But it's about just calling life how you see it. And this is my opinion. And these are the things that I see that's going on in life. I know. I see things going on. And I hear things going on. But I know that I got to change. As an individual in this world, I must change. And I thank God enough to come into my life to change me because the way I was headed I was headed for destruction the things that I will the things that I allowed in my life and the things that happened in my life but it was all for me to come to know him before I leave this earth in the same way that God wants a relationship with me, he wants a relationship with you. And this nation, America, has to repent of his sin. We as individuals have to repent of our sins. Family members, friends, those that we love and we care for daily, they got to repent of their sins. We all got to change. And if we don't change, that's going to be trouble for us. The Lord said in his word that there should be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, you may not believe in hell or heaven. But 
He says that it's real. He says that we got to change. Because if we don't change, that is the direction that we're headed for. Whether you want to hear it or not. So I have to put myself in a great position to leave a legacy. And the greatest legacy that you can leave your family, your children, your wife, your family, is the legacy that you knew God and God knew you. And that you're a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. And that you'll be a proud citizen in the new Jerusalem. I thank God for this day and this opportunity to even speak to you on this video. But I recognize that we all got to change as people. So, as you see our world falling around us, there is hope. And that hope lies with, with Jesus Christ. He loves you. He wants to wrap his arms around you. He wants to change your life. And he wants to influence your decisions daily. Just as well as he wants to influence mine. Influence mine. So I hope that we change. I pray that you will change. And I pray that I will change. Before we leave this world. There's a lot of things going on. It's time to wake up, people. As we say, smell the coffee. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee and really recognize what's going on in this world. We need a savior. It's either we're going to be on Noah's Ark when the door closes or we're going to sink with the Titanic. We have a choice to load up in the Ark or sink with the Titanic. So I pray for you and I pray that you'll pray for me that we all change. So may God bless your family on this holiday of Thanksgiving that's coming up soon. May you be thankful for the food that you're eating on your table. May you be thankful for the transportation that you're allowed to drive the house that you live in, the clothes that's on your back, the entertainment that God allows you to have, whatever it may be, be thankful this season. All right. Peace.